RFX. Now, we saw some great demonstrations earlier on, and both Jeff and Nandini referred to the fact that JavaFX is for the screens of your life. And it's the idea that you can use the same code that runs across multiple screens. And what I've done with this demonstration is to kind of take that concept and take it far beyond anything you could possibly think of. And when Chuck did his demonstration, he was talking about how he created this demonstration. He wasn't really quite sure you know, how useful the demonstration or how useful an application was. This really is a question of how useful this is. I really don't have an idea for how I'm going to use this. But anyway, let me explain what I'm going to do. Who here has seen a Wii games console? Who's played with a Wii? Come on, there must be quite a few people who've played with a Wii. Come on, there must be a few people who've played with a Wii. Okay. So I'm sure you know that you have this thing called the Wii Mote, which is a remote control which you can wave around, you can play tennis, you can play bowling, um, lots of different games. Now, one of the really interesting features about this is that it has uh, a camera for infrared on the front of this. And this is actually what you use to control the mouse on the screen. So basically, you use this camera on the front of the Wiimote to see a set of infrared LEDs which are mounted above the television. And so by moving that around, you can actually pick up the movement of the controller and see it on the screen. So what I've done is I've actually taken this and I've turned it around. So I've got a projector here on the table and I've mounted another remote control for the Wii next to the, the projector. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to track the position of some infrared LEDs as I move them around and do something with that. And so, as I say, this is all about the screens of your life. So I have created my own screen, a little screen that I can hold up and use to project something onto. And the important thing about this is that it has a number of infrared LEDs mounted on three of the four corners. And the fact that I've mounted them only on three out of four corners is actually quite important, as we'll see when we get into the demonstration. And in terms of the code, which I'm not going to have time to show you at the moment, basically I'm using all Java and JavaFX. In terms of getting the information from the Wii remote control, I'm using JSR82, which is the Bluetooth API, to get the information across. There's another open source API which interprets that information and makes the individual events from the remote control available. That's the Wii Remote J interface. And then I've written some Java code on top of that, which tracks the position of the points of the uh, screen and then makes some sense of them and passes them to my JavaFX application. And then using the binding, which Chuck was talking about, I'm then going to bind the data from my screen to an image which is going to be projected. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to ask if we can turn the house lights or the spotlights down a bit because sometimes the infrared gets a bit confused. So I don't know if we can actually turn the spotlights down on the, on the stage because this can be something of a problem at times. So if we can do that, hopefully. <laughs> ah, okay, and it's those ones that I really want turned down. These are the ones that are right in front of me. <laughs> okay, just talk amongst yourselves. Can we turn this down? You can't turn them down. Okay, well, we'll try it anyway, and let's, let's hope it works. Right, so if I turn this on, there we go. Oh, it does work. Okay, great. So you can see now that I'm projecting an image onto the screen, which is a playing card. And the idea is that as I move it around, obviously the, the screen actually tracks where the image is, and if I turn it around, then the image also follows it. So what I'm doing is, that, like I say, I'm actually just tracking the points of the, the corners and then relating that to where I'm projecting the image from the actual projector. And as I say, I'm only using three corners. And the idea of that is that I can actually have infrared LEDs on both sides of my screen. So if I turn the screen over, I get the back of the playing card. And then if I turn it over, I get the front of the playing card, and I get the back of the playing card. So that's using a screen to project an image. But of course, we're not limited in terms of what type of screen we can use. So what I've got here is, is an umbrella. And 
So I get very strange looks when I'm in the office. And I talk to people about how I'm going to wire up an umbrella. And they think I'm mad, which probably I am. But what I should be able to do now is actually use this. And then I can actually project an image onto this. And if I rotate the, the umbrella, then the image rotates as well. And again, it's tracking the, the position of two infrared LEDs on here and enabling us to, you see it sort of flips around. That's, that's simply because of my Java code in terms of where I'm tracking the uh, sort of reference point. Uh, I could fix that. I, I need to fix that at some point, but um, I haven't done that yet. So that's just an idea of um, how you can use JavaFX in a slightly different way. As I say, I haven't quite thought of a, a real use for this, but um, it's, it's just interesting stuff. Okay, Reggie.